Sundra, uh, welcome. Thank you so much for joining us today. Thanks, Brandon, and uh, thanks a lot for uh, having me here. Automating poor business processes and, and to, in order to free up workers' time. What's your philosophy on what type of processes get automated? How do you approach that? Our philosophy is, uh, as, I, as I spoke before, is digital first, digital now. And, and what that means is, I mean, we are a service provider, right? Uh, we are in, we are, our primary purpose is to deliver business value to our clients and customers, right? And for that, we truly believe that, you know, we can uh, elevate the innate humanness in people by using technology to eliminate the chores in their daily job. That's our philosophy. And so for us, digital is using technology to elevate the human. So in that philosophy, the way we approached, but what we did is we said there needs to be a grounds up movement. And the grounds up movement has to be, uh, you know, to enable every associate, every colleague within first source to think digital first, to think machine first. And so our philosophy was, how can we make that cultural shift? So one is enabling people to believe that they can become uh, you know, uh, uh, developers, but it's not going to be like all the 27,000 people will become developers. But can the 20, can a majority of this population have the belief system that if there is something that can be automated, I will automate it, right? That will be the approach that I take. So that if I'm on a call, you know, with, with a customer, I know I can let the bot do a few things so that I can actually have the conversation with empathy. Uh, it could be in the claims, claims processing area where we see that, you know, uh, you go through a list of claims and review the status and then prioritize it for agents to follow up. How do you get the ROI? What are the drivers that you that you use to think about ROI? We don't look at ROI. When we started this, we said we want to do it top down. We want to drive the culture bottom up, but the messaging top down so that everybody understands that this we are not doing this for a clear business benefit for a start but once you start with that approach we started seeing quite a few things obviously there is an roi you, you'll start seeing that uh, you know at the least you are able to recover the costs of automation very quickly within a couple of quarters and then after that it is not as much about creation to raj's point it is about consumption so now we are starting rewarding behavior to consume automation as much as to create automation, right? Then that adds to the clear hard savings in terms of business benefit. But even more importantly, you start seeing, uh, you know, engagement, employee engagement go through the roof, right? More often than not, you know, I've seen enterprises struggle through, you know, let's start it with the business and then we'll bring in technology and, you know, compliance and information security when we need that approach we avoided, right? We, we started with them integral to the core organization that sets up the governance. In reality, some of this might slow you down initially, but I think it's good to slow down initially if you're getting things in place because, you know, those structures help you accelerate considerably over a period of time.